can't figure out which diamond shape is your favorite, make sure you check out our newest video where we show you an on-hand side-by-side -side comparison. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bonnie with Buy Bonnie Jewelry where I talk about all things diamonds. You might have noticed before I even put it in front of the camera. So today I'm actually gonna be doing an episode on different diamond shapes, okay? I know I do a lot of oval rounds, but I also today wanted to show you like elongated cushion and pear shape, which I think is gonna be the shape of 2022 i don't know yet but i think this is gonna be it the next trend after oval okay so let's break it down for you really quick so here we have a round diamond 2.3 carat set on six prong which is our signature by bonnie just a classic solitaire it's just a little close up there i love this ring because it's got a little bit of profile like a little bit of height but it's not too much where it really like when you wear it it really pops on your hand one of my favorites here we have a 1.6 carat elongated cushion cut set on our dainty yellow gold this has really been trending this look the dainty yellow gold with a basket and uh, I absolutely love the look of it it's just if you love elongated cushion elongated cushion how is it different from princess cut or princess cut is completely square so I definitely have videos of princess cut that you can watch right over there make sure you go check it out and for round uh, I also have this in the two care version in the two-tone platinum and rose gold so make sure you check that out over here as well if you want to see the close-up video Video. Uh, okay, so down to here, I have a 2.4 carat pear shaped diamond, and this actually has a hidden halo. So let me do, do a close up. Okay, I love the hidden halo. I love the hidden halo on this and the pear. L notice how delicate the prongs are on each each prong okay this is extremely difficult to do extremely difficult to make sure that the craftsmanship of those prongs are as secure but as invisible as possible so here we have an oval uh two, this is uh 2.1 2.2 carat roughly and it also is set on a yellow gold band thin yellow gold and this is also done uh, very low profile but w able to wear a flush wedding band okay so um this is it i i do have a ton of videos on oval uh, specifically if you browse under my playlist you'll find a ton of oval uh diamond ring but this one has the north south prongs uh which makes it a little bit more unique uh but it, it is also you know personal preference um and as far as like what shape will look better on your hand so in general i would say uh you know go try things on i feel like that's the only way that you can really see what uh what feels the best to you but if you're like hey they all look good i really don't have a preference i would think of something that try to stick with something that's the most classic right think about the long term like in five to ten years do you see yourself wearing that same shape and i feel like that's really gonna help you ultimately uh decide and as far as the band goes um you know as you can see all of these rings even the yellow band i did all in platinum basket and that's really to enhance the whiteness of the diamond right because i do a lot of colorless or near colorless rings and they all you know the the platinum the metal underneath really will reflect on the center stone so you want to make sure that you know not only the color is right but you want to make sure the craftsmanship is there a lot of times uh, a lot of jewelers or you know online retailers might send you rings with you know the inside not as polished that way you like you really don't like it really masks the sparkle of your perfect diamond so that's definitely one pointer i have for you if you're thinking about you know buying a ring and just make sure that you know you go to someone that has years and years of experience of making rings um and also what i do enjoy this is part of our signature design is that even though the bands are thin you are able to wear a flush wedding band because they're all designed low profile but still a space for flush wedding band and i feel like that's missing in a lot of design that i see like you'll see a beautiful you know simple ring and then band the the, the band is like super far away uh, i feel like 
maybe you love that look to see the gap but i would say most of my clients don't love the gap so i think it's definitely personal preference but um do your own research make sure whichever ring you're gonna end up buying uh you think about what kind of bands you're gonna be wearing those type of low profile thin yellow gold band uh or you know platinum band oftentimes you'll find that it's a little bit harder to wear a really thick wedding band so like for example i have a really thick wedding band like if you put you know a, a really thin band next to next to my band like you'll see that it it, it kind of touches it and it pushes it out because of the height of the of of the band right so you don't really want to damage it too much i mean yeah i can push it but there's you know gonna be a little bit of gapping there you know and as long as you're okay with that so if you're thinking about doing a thicker band i would just you know plan ahead if you're going to do a thicker band most likely the engagement ring will have to be designed a little bit thicker this way uh higher uh so that it can accommodate a thicker band okay all righty thank you so much for watching my video make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook at bye bonnie jewelry thank you i'll see you in my next episode bye